Well, just I got into journalism at exactly the right moment. When you say that, do you what do you what do you think of it now, journalism? I would not advise any young person with unconventional views to try to enter this profession. I think it's it reeks of nepotism. Mm. Um, in working class, bright working class kids like me or Caitlin Moran, we could not happen again mm. because you have to have contacts. Mm. You have to be able to afford to live in London and not be paid as an intern. So I would just not advise them to do it. I'd advise them to be a shoplifter instead. <laughs> This is the case though with so many professions, isn't it? I mean, you know, like I was in television for quite a long time and it was, that was the same thing. It used to be, have this class, this feel about it. Not anymore. I yeah. Think, not, not anymore. Absolutely. I think it's very interesting that, that the rise of nepotism has gone alongside the rise of woke. Mm. Because in theory, wokeism should be very much against privilege. Yeah. Yeah. But it's almost like the working class can't be trusted to have nice things, including easy jobs that pay well. Do you think, Julie, the, the working class you came from in Bristol, uh, do you think that working class is still there? It is. It's been marginalised, yeah. as the working class in Brighton has been, to move further out. But it's still there. And I hate, I'm a, I'm a very optimistic person, but I do think that in the future there may well be a, a conflag conflagration of of the dispossessed working class and mm. their new woke masters i think there will be a big battle in the future at some point i'm i'm glad i had my fun when i had it i do say in my book young people today are so miserable that if rock and roll were invented today it would be us all people out dancing to it and yeah, then okay. trying to burn the records <laughs> well yes do you so, know um, those two versions of fairy tale in New York? Yeah. And they play the cleaned up one for the young people, <laughs> and they play the dirty one on radio too. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> save me. In Welcome to the Woe Trials, actually, you're very, you go into a lot of depth about the fact that working class people seem to be one of the real demons uh, for woke people. Yeah. Isn't, would you say that, that that's correct? Yeah, absolutely. I think wokeism, I still consider myself really left wing. I'd abolish it all inheritance, I'd abolish private education, I'd nationalise everything. I do think wokeism, when we voted for Brexit, the liberal ruling class realised that they could no longer corral us yeah. when the Red Wall came down. Yeah. And woke is an expression of contempt for people that cannot be controlled. But I would much prefer to have their contempt to be corralled by them. Yes. That, I th that was because the I think they're worthless people. Yeah. Do you think this, this thing, that there's, there's a, a, a trope that's taken hold now that woke is actually a power struggle and that it's about maintaining upper middle class power? Yes, utterly. Yeah. yeah. They can't say. I mean, the Fabian Society used to believe in eugenics. Mm. There's a very, very funny piece in the book when the wonderful uh, firefighter and trade unionist Paul Embry, who mm. was sacked for being pro-Brexit, mm. he's a, a Fabian Society um, talk, talking about how he is pro-Brexit and he gets heckled and he calls back, what are you going to do, sterilise me? Mm. And there's always been an attempt to keep us down in some mm. way and woke is just the new the new way they're attempting to oppress working class thought. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, isn't it, though, that there seems to have been a complete return around in that way? Yeah. I mean, there's the people who think they're being revolutionary, the people, or say that they are, in fact, are just simply the establishment. Aren't they? When I got the sack from the Telegraph, I realised that I'd come absolutely full circle. From the time I was like 17, I'd write things and be told, you can't say that. And now, I was, when I got the boot um, earlier this year, I was 61 and I was being told by the same class of people, you can't say that, except this time they were younger rather than older than me. But, so it's like I've stayed in one place and the people who tell you what you can and cannot say, they've changed. Yes. But still the same message and still a message that I will not pay any heed to. Yeah.